Okay, what's up you guys? This is Gus and I'm back in the house. It's almost Christmas time and I got some more raids for you. Well, actually, I got something special because uh, after hanging out with North44, I was able to come across one of the players in there that was actually farming, it seemed like, in Champion Leagues. Now, I'm not sure if it was possible to do that, you know, because in Champion Leagues you can't really risk losing trophies, but this player actually seemed to pull it off pretty well. And I was I was really impressed by it. He you, he only used tier one troops, uh, give or take a wizard or two, to back up uh, his archers. But still, that that was really amazing how uh, he was able to do it. Now I figured it was easy enough to farm in master league and all the way down, but if you could do it in champion leagues, the loot up here is actually pretty good. A lot of the bases um, you'll find a lot of of loot because the the cost of upgrades is really high so they can't waste all their money right away so they have to keep storing it so uh this is just i was i was just really like the the way he rated this guy so i wanted to take maybe th uh, this gameplay and show you guys how it looked and what's also interesting was uh, a lot of the people in north 44 were using barbarians in the clan castle now, I'm not sure the reason behind that. I'm thinking it's probably because uh, just using a lot more barbarians on the heroes will probably distract them more for their other troops to take them out faster. And also what I found was pretty interesting was they were using heal spells on the barbarians. Now the barbarians actually do have a lot of health. They uh, can take a lot of damage. Actually the wizard towers and motars they can't die with one shot from those so i think the healing spells was actually really beneficial for this type of team and now that we get five so you know you could last pretty long taking out the uh remaining buildings on the outside now you do have to look for certain bases i'll give you that you can't just attack every single base especially bases that have all their stuff inside walls but usually people like to throw everything outside just to protect their town hall from getting two starred so, you know, you can take advantage of that from up here. I was just uh, really impressed by this. So, I'm thinking this is probably, if not the most cheapest way to attack and farm and still get the 50% the win. Um, my method was golems and archers. Most people use minions and balloons, which is another good method. But this has to be the cheapest I've seen so far. So you guys, just go ahead and check out the video. Let me know what you think in the comment box. If you think this is a, a good strategy, if you can come up with another plan, I'd love to know. Uh, I always love to fight and use as little resources as I can, as little as it takes to train up troops and not to have troops that aren't costly. So you guys, please let me know in the comment box what you think about this. If you think this is a a really efficient way to do it or if you can come up with another way let me know down there and i will see you guys next time merry christmas